Hey, what's up guys? Finally, finally I get to meet you after a long time as I was held up at tests. So I'm getting back to roll. You probably would have found out that this is the Moto G. Yep, this is the Moto G, but I have something special on it. This ain't stock and right. This is Cyanogen Mod 11. Yep, this is real. So here comes the normal question. Is it daily driver material? Is it stable? But ha, this is the nightly here. Come on, that's a good joke. Actually, the Sanogen Mode team has done a great job of unifying builds for the Moto G. Now, whatever Moto G you have is the same way to get CM, like a boss. Let's take a closer look at what it has to offer. Maybe you'll find out that is it really stable or not. And when I said taking a closer look, I meant it. Pun intended. The Moto G was already fast and zippy when it had stock Android and nothing has changed here too. The opening and closing of apps, the animation and the transitions all look as they were except a few minor force closes here and there, you know, about a custom ROM and Sanogen mod this is a nightly here. So this is legit, this is a daily driver material, no doubt. Everything from the settings, play store and to that apps downloaded from the play store run like butter and surprise, we even have multi sim support here. But the best part of having Cyanogen mode? Yeah, firstly, the themes. Who doesn't like them? Actually, you can get a DIY Android L look to your phone by downloading a theme called Herathon. I'll leave a link to the theme in the description below. It will change everything from the sounds, the soft keys, and to the notification bar, and even the boot animation. And secondly, the control you get over your phone. You can change everything from the soft keys on the fly without needing a reboots. Seriously, at least for this, you should get CM. Finally, GeoCall, whether you think you should install or not. Everything from the display, speaker and to the apps work awesomely well and it's just as good as stock Android if not better. If you are still not holding up on me, I suggest you to watch the video again. And how to install? Don't worry, I got you covered. I'll leave a link to a video by Josh from What Would Josh Do in the description below. Like him and subscribe him and even me while I catch you in my next video which won't be another long gap. I promise. Till then, peace out.